Hey friends, it's Natalia and in today's video I'm sharing some car cleaning motivation. I'll be cleaning the exterior and the interior as well as organizing this mess of a mom car. So to get started, I'm going to clean the outside of my car with my brand new pressure washer from Giraffe Tools. I've been wanting a pressure washer for this house since we moved in, but we didn't really have the room for one. So I love that the Grand Falls pressure washer mounts to your wall and it has a hundred foot auto retract hose. Like how cool is that guys? Here's everything that comes in the box. You have all of your hardware, all of your tips, the wand, everything that you need to get this set up. We decided to mount this on the side of the wall where the hose is in our garage, right outside our garage. Um, so we used a half inch a drill bit, concrete drill bit, because that's what we have here, um, to go ahead and drill the holes and use the hardware that they provided. It's so easy. They even give you a little level that you can use um, to make sure that everything's screwed in straight. Now that it was mounted to the wall, I just had to connect the hoses and the wand. And it's so simple, you guys. After doing this, it's ready to go. All you have to do is just turn your water on. And I just love that it's so convenient. I don't have to set it up each time. It's just ready to go whenever I need to use it. The pressure washer comes with four different spray nozzles, a zero degree, 15 degree, 25 degree, and 40 degree. I love that they have this little like holder for you to be able to conveniently switch depending on what your project is. I went ahead and connected the provided hose to my regular garden hose. I then connected the 40 degree spray nozzle, which is recommended for car washing. All right guys, let's do this. I'm gonna clean the outside of the car with the pressure washer for the first time. And I love that it has this smart locking mechanism. It lets you stop the hose at whatever length that you need. It was such a hot day today. I was sweating my butt off, but I just started with rinsing out the car. I just wanted to make sure that everything was nice and wet before I went ahead and applied any kind of soap. So another awesome feature of this pressure washer is this soap cannon that it comes with that connects just as easily as the nozzles do. So I went ahead and put some car wash in there and got to spraying my whole car with a bunch of soap to make it nice and clean. The 
this is seriously so satisfying and I could just pressure wash all the things. All right, so now it's time to rinse. I didn't let the soap dry on completely because, you know, then you'll have a whole bunch of marks. Um, it was a really hot day, but I do recommend that if you are gonna wash your car, do it in the shade. I unfortunately did not have any shade to do this in, um, so I had to make sure that I worked quickly. Next, it was time to move on to the tires. I used this wheel tire cleaner, sprayed it on, and then hosed it off with the pressure washer. This right here makes this pressure washer so worth it for me. I dread cleaning the tires on my car because I usually have to get a brush and just go into every single little crevice and it's just a lot of labor. With this pressure washer, it was so easy. I used a 25 degree tip and just went ahead and started spraying and it took everything off. And here I'm just cleaning the other half of the car. I only wanted to do one half at a time so that the soap wouldn't dry on. This pressure washer does a max of 2200 PSI and 2.1 gallons per minute. So it's perfect for all of your household needs. A hundred feet really goes a long way guys. And I just love this auto retract feature because I hate winding up, you know, cords and getting kinks and everything. It's so easy this way. And it even comes with a holder for the soap dispenser. How amazing. If you guys are interested in buying this, I will have a link for you in the description box and also in the comments, along with a discount code for you. And you know that you know that I had to test this out on the other parts of my home. I went ahead and did a little bit of cleaning out here up front. And because this is a hundred foot hose, I'm able to reach all three levels of my home. And so I was so excited about that because my windows get really dirty. And now I could clean my balcony with this pressure washer. If you saw my last video, you know that I've been wanting a pressure washer and I'm so excited that I can use this out here on my front porch because it gets plenty dirty. Now back to the outside of the car, I went ahead and got a large microfiber towel to dry the exterior and it's so nice and clean now, very shiny. To complete the look, I added this tire shine to my tires to make them nice and shiny. And now it's time to clean the inside of the car. It is so dirty guys. I wanted to get a few of the before shots so that you can see how like amazing it's going to look afterwards. Don't judge me. Don't come at me. I know my kids eat in the car. 
they have toys it, you know it's it's life for us um uh, so yes it's very messy don't hate on me i get it cleaned up so yeah things first I took out the car seats because the covers needed to be washed and here's a little <laughs> relatable mom segment maybe <laughs> We normally have seat covers on our seats to protect them from the car seats, except for that one right there, but this one had one. Um, it helps to keep the mess contained. I got two bags, one for trash and one for things that we need to keep and you know put back in the house or organize. I had a bunch of uh, baby toys that I had to put in a bag. Um, they were things that I'm going to donate, but my kids decided to take them all out and just play with them, even though they're baby toys. <laughs> But um, I went ahead and put those back in the bag to send over to a donation. And now I'm just clearing the floor. It is so bad, but you know, little by little, I'm getting it done. let's play a game how many water bottles can we find <laughs> this is horrible guys I am so embarrassed but you know this is real mom life man with three kiddos boys nonetheless but I'm getting it done I'm getting it done that's what matters If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you find it relatable or are just motivated by it, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. I am so thankful for my shop vac. <laughs> this is one of the most satisfying parts of cleaning the inside of my car. It's just vacuuming because it makes such a big difference in the way the car looks. It just looks so much cleaner and because it is cleaner, but <laughs> it just, I don't know. I just love watching the vacuum lines and all that kind of thing. This stuff was so gross guys like what is that is that like a sticky raisin or something i don't know man it's just <laughs> it's crazy
here's a little before and after scenery for you. Now that everything was vacuumed, I went ahead and started with the center console and the dashboard and cleaning up all of those things. else has a collection of change in their car i ended up ordering a little coin purse for this it works so much better than just keeping them here and then next i moved on to cleaning the interior with this chemical guys cleaner it smells so good and it also protects which is really nice because it's kind of like an all-in-one cleaner These are some new microfiber cloths that I just ordered off of Amazon. I really like them. They're a really good size. I'll make sure that I link them in the description box. I wanted to try something new. I got this upholstery cleaner at Walmart. It has a little scrub brush and there were some spots, you know, in the seats and on the carpet that needed some cleaning. So I thought this might be a good option. I did it a little bit too much at first, but it worked really well. I also tried this Rain-X Anti-Fog Interior Glass Cleaner because our you know, weather here in South Florida can get really, really muggy in the summer. And so I thought this would be a great option to just keep the inside of my windshield nice and fog free, especially if I'm out you know, at night, it's very helpful. And for the rest of the glass, I used this Armor All glass cleaner. This little bottle was from the Dollar Tree, um, so really good value. But I was able to remove all those little fingerprints all over the windows. So satisfying. And don't mind my crazy faces. I was just, you know, dying in the heat of the sun. <laughs> Okay, friends, so I may have gone a little crazy here, but I bought some stuff to organize the car with. Um, so I was just going to show you what I'm packing in here and what I got. I got this, um, most of this organizational stuff is from um, Amazon, but I got this. It's a little trash can, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I install it because I need that in my life with my three kiddos. And then I got these, they're like back, um, back seat organizers, kick mats. I have some right now, but they don't have all these different compartments. Um, and I like this, you know, if you wanted to put like a tablet or something like that in there or books, I think that would be great. So that'll protect the car. And then, okay. Again, a little crazy, but I got all these little bags. I don't know that I'm going to use all of them. Um, these are all from Walmart, little like cosmetic bags. Like I wanted them clear so that I could see what's inside. Um, so I got those and inside of those bags, I'm going to put things like this. So I got these from the Dollar Tree. They say, ugh, <laughs> they're little notepads. I thought it'd be great. Like sometimes, you know, you forget um, a list or you want to write something down. 
and uh, it's just great to have like a little notepad in your glove compartment or something like that and then I also got this file um, expanding file folder to put in my glove compartment so I can put like all of my important papers like your insurance card registration um, things like my card for pickup for my kids school pickup and things like that and I got a few just things to have in the car um, some in the center console some in the back but you know a little bit of gum here <laughs> um, more of these cosmetic pouches here we go um some sunscreen some a mosquito repellent because the mosquitoes are crazy here and I get eaten alive some Tums because your girl gets some crazy heartburn sometimes <laughs> and, oh look at these how cute are these they're little um you put them inside their little coasters to put them inside here your cup so it, they absorb like the liquid and things like that so it keeps it cleaner little hair clips um a hair brush and comb because you know in those mornings when you're rushing out the door it's good to have this for your kids or for yourself a little first aid kit because you never know and let's see I just there's some stuff I already had but I haven't used this hand cream and uh, nail clippers some tissue and I also got these clips that you put um, like right here by the headrest and they hold like your grocery bags or your purse water bottle anything that you can think of you could put these all over your car to hold your grocery bags so they're not like rolling around all over the place in the back um, and then I have let's see I think that was it um, there's stuff I already have in my center console you know masks and you know female products and some makeup and things like that um, ibuprofen things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of this and show you all what it looks like okay so I have everything already in the bags here is the expanding file and I put the little notepad in here some pens registration card paperwork and that'll go in the glove compartment and then I also have this larger bag here um, this is where I ended up putting the excuse me the like mosquito repellent hair brushes the wet wipes um my cards for like when i do you know uber eats and shipped or whatever that kind of a thing some hand sanitizer the sunscreen so that's what i put in here and that's gonna be in the glove box just because it's bigger and then in the pink bag i thought it'd be cute to put all of my like on the go makeup chapstick you know little pressed powder um and mascara you know when you're rushing out the house this is like a great little way to get yourself together and i'm gonna put that here along with my gum and then lastly i have this bag here which is where all like feminine products are like hand lotion tissue band-aids that kind of a thing medicine and that will also go in here so yay i'm all organized and then look how cute these came out aren't they adorable i love them i love them it'll be easier to clean and it just looks cute so yay for organization Here's the trash can all installed. It actually attached to the center console. It does have a few options for hanging, just in case you're wondering. And then in the back, I have a larger first aid kit because you never know, God forbid, but if you need it, it's there. And then this tote is one that I got at Walmart many years ago. I love it to hold like my groceries. Um, I also have a, a picnic blanket that I hold in there along with like my food bags like a hot and cold bags um, and anything else that I need to put in there it's just very convenient to bring the stuff up the stairs and then here I put these little hooks up and I just wanted to show you how they can just hold your things together and lastly you want your car to smell good I got this little vent or not a vent clip a visor clip for my car from Bath and Body Works and it smells so amazing in here. I just love it. It just really puts the finishing touch. 
and here she is my friends this is the after i'm so happy my car is finally cleaned aren't you proud of me <laughs> i'm proud of myself the car seat covers were still in the wash but i just wanted you to see how clean everything looks I also ended up putting these hooks um, behind the other seats because I thought it would be great for the boys to hang their backpacks after school. I'm feeling like I have my life more put together now, you guys. Hot mess express no longer. I'm ready for back to school. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video and have an awesome day. Bye.